I made this garbage day for you I hope you brought your garbage too You must have something left for me Some terrible things to read Garbage day Come sit around With your wallets and your best friends Cause what we've got next for you Are terrible music reviews Welcome to hour one of Garbage Day. In the room for this hour, Boots, Rain Gear, Lemon, Franklin West, Jimmy Franks, John Toast, Ortax, and your artist, Trav. Garbage Day! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Garbage Day! <laughs> <laughs> welcome, uh, welcome everybody. Welcome, friends. It is finally Garbage Day. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, I'm so excited for Garbage Day. 24 hours with the F+. Plus. <laughs> We've got 24 different topics. We've got like 20 different people that are going to be here reading. We've got 12 different artists. We've got 24 different theme songs. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Yay. And uh, we're raising money for the... Uh oh! The National the Network, Network of Abortion Funds. The Network National Network of Abortion Funds. Uh, Abortion. They're, gonna, they're an organization uh, based in Massachusetts, but their mission is to distribute uh, to distribute funds to uh, women in need of abortions wherever they might be, and they push money to where the need is greatest. Uh, and there is some great need at this moment. Um, uh, so it's a national organization. Yes. Uh... Yeah, because we we did a, a sort of a last minute switcheroo to that because we're all fucking furious. <laughs> Why? What's was something happened in the news? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Well, what's our document, Boots? Uh, so our first document up is Rachie Music. This is a document sent to us by Mix. Uh, RachieMusic.com is a music review site where users can write their own reviews for whatever goddamn albums they want and publish them, and then uh, we can read them. Uh, Mix did a, a a a glorious job of why is there a monkey in the middle of my Google Docs? Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that earlier. I saw that earlier. You need to see a doctor for that, Boots. He can help you with that. That was a chimpanzee. Um, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Boots. Yes. Hey, Boots. Do you know what happens every time we raise a, over a hundred dollars for the uh, National Network of Abortion funds? Uh, no, I'm not sure what happens, but this happens. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Albert doing victory rotations in the corner? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. Keep going. Uh, yeah. And so, like, why don't we start off with a music review of uh, Tammy's Egyptia Shumba? Shumba? Egyptian Shumba. Egyptian Shumba. Egyptian Shumba. Lemon. Why don't yeah. you read that? Yeah, so thinks it's a uh, so hi. So welcome to uh rate your music, not my music, but your music.com. <laughs> um I don't think I have a name, but that's okay. Oh no, I'm Window Ledge. I'm Window Ledge. And uh yeah, so uh four point five stars for Tammy's Egyptian Shumba. Uh for about three and a half years now, I've wanted to say something meaningful about this song, and on multiple occasions I've taken a crack at getting words 
getting in words at what these two minutes and 27 seconds of sublime sweetness and shrill ecstasy do to me, but I've never quite managed. Lou and the Tammies always manage to leap ahead of me somehow, and something vital always seems to have evaded the track of my pen. Digital age, analog metaphors, so what am I all about? So what I'm all about. Swat. <laughs> Swat. <laughs> uh, you can say I'm very sweaty when you think about it. <laughs> But this forum post seems to pin down at least a fraction of what I want to say. Here's a quote. <laughs> Normally, I do lots of boom-bop. It's all subjective, of course, but to me, Egyptian shumba is the sound of absolute physical and psychological liberation. A blinding white light of unblemished ecstasy. A celebration of the female orgasm. <laughs> A paean to the power, oh boy, a paean to the power of pungent dreams on the white waking sleeper in the what? sense of an emotion so powerful as to push against the bounds of its mo moment. It's about a girl who wakes up from a ravishingly beautiful dream and with equal parts wistfulness and explosive will asserts that she'll quote, oh, this is a quote inside of a quote now, ah, make that dream come real, end quote. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is actually that was actually a clip from Tammy's Egyptian Shumba right there <laughs> uh, here's a new quote inside of my quote and dance the way I feel and in doing so seems to celebrate her own body her sexual freedom and her overwhelmingly generous love for the you of the song it cuts bah. through so <laughs> <laughs> Aww, it's terrible <laughs> It cuts through so much of the emotional turbulence of most 60s girl group music and presents an utterly convincing portrait of individual and romantic happiness with the least bit of schmaltz. End quote. <laughs> I wanted There's a fraction of what they wanted to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, uh, my last paragraph here, I wanted to add some stuff about female masturbation, oh, too. That's all right. But I, but 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 I couldn't quite squeeze it in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. But no. yeah, to me, this is infectious sonic feminism. <laughs> and moral apex of everything. Femming around at the speed of <laughs> Hey kids, make sure to respect the women in your life. That's what Sonic says. <laughs> I want to make you come fast. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> get you with the patriarchy. That's no good. <laughs> knowing this, uh, knowing this twenty-four hours, this will be that'll be a later doc. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jimmy Franks. Yeah. Uh, you're a big fan of uh, Herb Alpert's uh, and the Tijuana Brass, I right? I am. I want to write a pan to the pungent dreams. Of... Okay, well, <laughs> chan <laughs> pungent. Okay. channel the spirit of Jason Hernandez for us for a little uh -huh. bit here. Yeah, uh, Jason one Hernandez is one word. Um, <laughs> Jason I'll tell Hernandez. you a little bit about uh, Herb Alpert's Tijuana Brass, whipped cream and other lights. <laughs> <a classic. laughs> <laughs> uh this is a review by Jason Hernandez, uh, rated 2.50 stars. I'm not sure what the scale is. Uh, uh, it's out of five. Out of five. Okay. Uh, when you see this album in a thrift store, you buy it just to have it. It's like a membership card into the club of cheap bin record hunters. All of us have it. That's this LP club. in your possession says that you've been there. You know the fluorescent lights. You know the dirt. You know the smell. You know the pain. Yes, I have talked to you before. That's <laughs> <laughs> the real thrift stores team. <laughs> uh, this is going to be quite a 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the place donation the comments are going to be something down. fierce. Mm. Where you can buy a record, some dishes, a broken toy, and someone's old shoes all at once. If you've only read about thrift store record shopping, you might think that these places are wonderlands of $1 oddities. Christian ventriloquists, satanic zither players, private press schizophrenics, drag queen comedians, truckers with theremins, lounge singers live on stage from the Twilight Zone. Oh, this turned into a Where have I read this story? <laughs> man, this, this remake of We Didn't Start the Fire sucks. Hey, man, hey, man, have you heard? Have you heard about record stores? <laughs>
<laughs> There's <laughs> literal <laughs> aliens in there. <laughs> You'd be wrong. Most of the time, all you find are Barbara Streisand, Boz, Skaggs, and dead bugs. Personally, I'd rather buy the dead bugs. You might find something cool once or twice a year. A stash of old new wave imports, maybe, or some well-molested vintage vin bubblegum records, mm. or perhaps a Cold War era evangelical sermon about the end times. But most days, nothing. People who find outrageous rarities and unknown treasures in these places are pretty much lottery winners, Blossom. Are you a whipped cream and other delights hipster? <laughs> uh, we're not talking about like the... one of the best-selling albums of all time. <laughs> It takes a hearty soul to keep up the thrift store habit. I used to do it, but I can't anymore. My record flipping hand was injured in a terrible Mitch Miller related accident oh, years ago. God. And now I. Oh, oh you're so quirky and funny. Feeding the birds. <laughs> Mitch Miller broke his hands to get me off writing reviews. <laughs> <laughs> if you see me in a thrift store at all these days, it's because I need a suit or a coffee table. I don't even glance at the records anymore. I avoid them like old. Get to the workers. recipe! <laughs> 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 anyway, sausage and peppers. <laughs> I'm sorry, whipped cream and other delights. <laughs> As for Herb Albert and his arrangement of the day's hits and standards, the sleeve art is the obvious selling point here. It's, the, it's an instant eye catcher. As Albert plays his trumpet on bouncy versions of the likes of Tangerine and Lemon Tree, guys across the generations have surely played their own fleshy trumpets as they study the cover models, whipped cream covered breasts, and subject, suggestive pose. Uh, what would uh, the pose be suggesting? I don't understand at that point. Yes, to own a used copy of this LP is to own something that someone possibly masturbated to and even on. That's part of what it makes it essential, though. When you've got uh, this baby what? on your shelf, you're not only a record collector, but you're also a risk taker, and people admire that. I think I, I mean, know, to be I fair, know what Nick searched for to start this document. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, if you do masturbate onto the cover of Whipped Cream and Other Delights, it's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> Just blends in. <laughs> you got to aim. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he did a review without just he just sort of acknowledged that there was music on the record, but <laughs> yeah, didn't actually review any music. <laughs> hey, uh, in a second, Toast is going to take the role of Kevy, uh, but I just wanted to read a couple of the donations. Uh, Mr. Oh, Radar yeah. Two donated a hundred dollars and says, "Let's kick this stream off in the right way. Abortion rights or civil rights? Oh wait, sorry. Abortion rights or civil rights are human beings." Um, but Roll the Dice says, my name is Roll the Dice, and I'm here to say abortion rights are human rights in a major way. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not one of the theme songs, I'm going to be pissed. A garbage, garbage Boy gave $4.20 with the comment, funny number, lol. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good joke, good joke. I like I feel, it. I feel like somewhere in the middle of those three comments is like the ethos of the F+. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, hey, Toast. Yes. You're Kevy. You've got a review for us. Oh, is it about you 2 the Joshua Tree? Oh, I like that album. Mm. It's a real classic, yeah. I gave it 0.5 stars. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Lemon. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, Unforgettable Fire is better. There are musical offenders out there, and they are everywhere. Uh-uh. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> They're the ones who barked back at who let the dogs out. Who? Who? I, I never found out. <laughs> They're the ones who play Smells Like Teen Spirit or Stairway to Heaven in guitar shops after they've had one guitar lesson. I mean, wow, fair. they're pretty. Like, that's... Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> they, they chose the right song. <laughs> They're the ones who bought the interview-only Britney Spears CD so their collection would be complete, and they made their friends listen to it. Huh. It's quite a straw man. They're did, did the YouTube, ones... Did, is YouTube doing all this to people? Is that what he's accusing them of? <laughs> Bono's done with, like, ch charity concerts and just doing this. They're the ones who think Stuck in the Middle with You is not only a Bob Dylan song, but his best song. They're the ones just that said, just grab them in the biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones who still rush the dance floor to Billie Jean as if it has never been done before. They probably leave when the song is done, though. <laughs> Those assholes. <laughs> 
<laughs> They're very polite and allow other people to dance. The bastards! I only dance to a song that's never been danced to before ever. <laughs> I have hips to feed. <laughs> They're the ones who sing karaoke to fake plastic trees with their eyes closed and fist clenched. Okay, at this point, I'm going to point out that uh, there are four pages of They're the Ones. <laughs> so oh, there there is. Is. Oh, oh, God! God. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! So, You're still the one I yell uh, at! Still okay. the one I complain about! Right. Okay, you want, me to, you, want me to try, you want me to try speed reading this shit? <laughs> I, I think maybe pick and choose. <laughs> You'd have to be a fucking auctioneer if you. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you should just okay. use these for reader intros. <laughs> <laughs> that's not. Wait, Frank, no. <laughs> All right, let me just scan through here real quick. Uh, here's a good. They're the ones who got jiggy with it. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> They're the ones who, who can sit you down and tell you what's wrong with music today with a straight face, while their new Rob Thomas CD plays in the background. Um, and, uh, uh, I don't know. They all look so good. What would they <laughs> do? To, uh, what would they do to Hot Stepper? Oh, uh, paste ones you see in the chat, guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're asking him. To They're the ones who only buy music <laughs> at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're the ones who would word it up to Here Comes the Hot Stepper. Word it up! <laughs> uh, I, there's too many options. I'm, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Here. They're the ones who ripped on InSync but party to Justin Timberlake. Huh. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. They're the ones who think Bon Jovi is grunge or alternative. <laughs> wow, they're stupid. <laughs> you know, it's not from the doc, but I like somebody in the chat saying they move like Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good one. <laughs> let, me, let me call you out, Neostria. You got, you got. <laughs> They're the ones. Okay, here's a go. They're the ones actually from the doc. They're the ones who did the hamster dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now uh, those damn animated gifs. Uh, now, Toast, I want you to read the, read the last three of them. Last three. All right. Uh, I have... Okay. They're the ones who own Elton John's Candle in the Wind CD single. Oh, well, there's millions of them there. They're the ones who know a dozen alternative endings to the song Happy Birthday. That's impressive. They're the ones who hold up You Choose a Joshua Tree as a pillar of their and anyone else's music collection. <laughs> ah! He's got you, <laughs> Lemon. He's got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People who uh, people who like uh, Joshua Tree uh, are apparently into like, according to this list, like into like death metal and speed metal and uh, Bon Jovi <laughs> and Adam Sandler and the Wedding Singer. According to us, too, I see that there. <laughs> oh, guys, I, I blanked out there. What 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 just happened? <laughs> I'm I'm missing the last ten minutes. I think the rage got the best of you. <laughs> what wow. a, a music fugue. <laughs> So this isn't about rating your music collection. It's about rating other people's music collection. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Or just other people, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great people. Uh, so there's a note at the top of this document that says, note, the second half of this doc is explicitly for Kumquat. Um, I'm here to announce, sadly, at this point, that Kumquat will not be joining us for the entirety of the marathon because of, uh, oh. of work obligations. Uh, but fortunately, oh. we do have him uh, providing reader intros, as you heard at the beginning of this hour. Um, and we do have a kumquat soundboard. Yes. <laughs> hey, come. Hi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello. It has it has one button. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. The button says kumquat. <laughs> kumquat. The kumbot. Um, really? Yes. So kumbot uh, five thousand. Say hey, Portex. Yes, you're, you're kumquat for this one. <laughs> Hello, and, and you're gonna read. You're gonna read. Uh, oh God, is uh, it... it's one of my favorite punk rock albums of the of the two thousands. I think it's two thousands, maybe it's nineties. Uh, refused the shape of punk to come. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> all right. Ooh. A chemical bombination and twelve bursts, which is not actually part of the title of that album. <laughs> Chimerical. All right. Okay. Sh Shimera. Yeah. So you've been. All right, been here it goes. I really idea. hope this doesn't hurt my. I know he explodes microphones, so this is going to suck, but. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Review my. I'm Ozzy Style. Hello? 
4.5 stars! I saw this in a shop with this fucking rock sticker on it that took the counter and slammed down and shouted the dude there, how much, when he answered and he said, not the price, Dillweed, how much does it rock? (laughs) 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 Dillweed's answer like shrug, Uh, I don't know, a lot, which reminds me because he's being a pussy and I say I want to rock my socks, clean off my feet, is that what it's going to do that? He's all like, yeah, it will. And I'm like, yeah, I'll take it! Oh my god, Beavis has made manifest. <laughs> Beavis walks among us. Get it home and put it on, turning it up, and some guy starts to up this baby about fashion, and I start thinking, what kind of Nancy bullshit have I got into here? But then some noise starts humming, and I start thinking, what kind of noise rubbish have I got myself into here? And then after a minute, getting angry because I got burned into buying some artsy rubbish and the band kick in all jabbing riffs and yelling and they're <laughs> until they're hoarse as in the animal Ooh. and i go wild smashing up the room with part anger on part <laughs> joy man it's like a pit song going in my living room and just me and i'm tearing it into it and the curtains are falling down and mom's yelling over her bed and i pretend like i don't hear her cries because i'm going ape shit rocking out and being all <laughs> wow. hardcore and shit <laughs> wow refuse change this guy's life <laughs> I, I didn't know uh zodiac motherfucker got it started music reviews <laughs> But soon I'm getting angry because, yeah, I know how to rock out these boys do, and what I know is they gotta keep interrupting my slam dancing with some techno bullshit or some quiet bits of the evening, and then a violin! Get this violin! I mean, on the rocking out, I know how, and there's fucking violin, and yeah, it's playing a quality bit of a tune, but that would have happened if some of my crew walked in at that moment and saw me all sweaty and bleeding and listening to a fucking violin! <laughs> 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 I'd have to kill myself or all of them. It's the same of all of it would be too much. Because my head's too big. <laughs> uh, feel free to skip a bunch. <laughs> for, for your own health. We could. You don't want to overcome quite yourself. That's true. <laughs> then the wind changes. It's always stuck like that forever. That's a origin oh, story. Oh. <laughs> Hi! Hello! It's stuck that way. The counter and pulling out wires out and then crack over at his head the prick. Okay. Then I put it through the window and knock over a couple of shelves worth of CDs before stamping on the guy's head and legging it. As I left, I heard him shout, Philistine! I'm gonna go home and look that fucking word up to work out whether the little prick got another visit coming or not! (laughs) 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 How does he do that? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Gotta respect the guy's vocal cords. <laughs> some, I... say it's a, some say it's a blessing, others say it's a curse. <laughs> Do people say it's a blessing, though? <laughs> What's well, a blessing I... to be in his company, for sure? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Until he West. blows up the moon. Hey, that's me. You're, uh, you're going to be Godfrey Jones 40. Godfrey Jones. Godfrey. Godfrey. I cannot uh, uh, spell with an E Y. Sorry, with got it. Yeah, yep. sorry. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna give us a review of a Farrah Abraham album. Oh, my teenage dream ended. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's an F plus reference at some point, right? Well, I don't, I don't think that's ever made on the show, and it, they would kill me if I made it on the show. So, um, I am Godfrey <laughs> Jones, forty, and I have rated this four point five zero stars. Oh. I am terrified of this album. I fell asleep listening to it once, and I won't even try to conceive what I experienced. This is the stuff of nightmares. What? Oh dear. This, this is, is the... uh, just just as a uh, slight bit of backstory. This is the uh, former, I believe, Teen Mom reality star that ended up doing porn immediately afterwards. Yep, that's yep. the one. <laughs> Which one? You have to narrow it down. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This is the 2012 version of Leona Anderson's music to suffer by. Oh, and it's fucking brilliant. End of review. Edit! (laughs) (laughs) I have been listening to this album for a while, and I am trying to compile what this album is really about. And I've made a short list. (laughs) Okay. Theories. Scratched in a notepad.
this album is about one in quotes the reshaping of the human body by modern technology end quote i didn't ask for this <laughs> <laughs> two communicating with your dead boyfriend with a luigi board <laughs> three okay. miscarriage by means of alcohol poisoning Ew. four prom night the 1981 movie <laughs> <laughs> not the 2006 remake no Ugh. five giving birth to a tumor just like your mother <laughs> six being held responsible for every text tweet or facebook message you post Seven plastic surgery disasters, the 1982 movie. Uh, that, yeah, that's, that's the album. Uh, yeah. by the dead, oh, sorry. Sure. You're right. I just see that, and I assume constructing a wall in your basement to commit suicide behind. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, that's you know that's like kind of videos you. are getting fucking dark. <laughs> How to make your own cask of Amontillado? <laughs> Seven easy steps with pictures. Nine jacking off to everything you see on YouTube. Wow, impressive. This is Hulhauser. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you doing there with your penis? <laughs> it looks like a dog eating an avocado. <laughs> Ten, killing your parents because they didn't get you a car for Christmas. Eleven, screaming incoherently. Hello? Well, yeah. Oh, no, no, no kumquat bun on that one. Come on, guys. <laughs> Twelve, Larry. Hi. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> Hello. Thirteen, James Dean, Spider Race Car, fifty five hundred. Huh. Okay. Fourteen, Wake Up Little Susie. Oh, that one's in quotes. So it's just a cover of that song. No, it's a. It's about the qu the quote. Wake up, little Susie. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's unrelated. Otherwise, if, if it was about the song, I would put the the date in in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sorry. 15, living happily ever after. 16, anal and Wow, I fucked up. 15, yeah, 16, anal and vaginal leakage from torn muscles in the abdomen. 1984. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that what that was great. about? <laughs> 17, postpartum depression manifested in suicide. 18, abandoning your child in front of a webcam. <laughs> <laughs> what? Huh. I mean, I guess that's pretty good. That's pretty good mothering at that point. Like, I gotta go. <laughs> I'll be back for a couple hours. Look, the, I'm not watching you anymore, but someone is. Yeah, all the Twitch streamers will just watch you for a while. <laughs> just a lot of baby ragers in the chat. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know it. You know it. 19, premature birth. 20, realizing that furries aren't the most fucked people in your high school. <laughs> False. I don't know. You know, there's degrees. 21. Deciding which way you want to kill your children. Uh, I, well, I'm already leaving him in front of the webcam. <laughs> <laughs> 22. Coarseness, commonness, crassness, crudeness, crudity, grossness, indelicacy, no, indelicateness, lowness, raffishness, let raw, rawness? I don't think so. Roughness and rudeness. 23. Necrophiliac fantasies realized. 24. <laughs> doing so many drugs, you aged 20, 30 years over the weekend. 24 again, turning off your computer. <laughs> 25, turning off your TV. 26, killing yourself. 27, being born again to a teen mom. Oh, that was a real nice review. Yeah. <laughs> that was. I like that a lot, but I'm Ozzy Styles back again. <laughs> hey, hey, hey oh, Ozzy. God, album review. I'm going to do a review of Joanna Newsom's uh, Wise. Mm. Sure. Okay. Ease. The letter. Yeah, ease. ease like the it's, it's ease. a Japanese role playing game, obviously. Yeah. Joanna Newsom. <laughs> yeah, Joanna Newsom's <laughs> playthrough of Ease. <laughs> this is her let's play of Ease. Oh uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Stells, and I'm not a creep. Oh, the cover's wonderful. <laughs> when I was a kid, Joanna Newsom would have been the ideal girl for me. If we had been in school together, I would have always tried to get the seat next to hers in biology class so that we could laugh and giggle at anatomy, anatomy diagrams. Or I would stand behind her in the lunch queue to smell her golden locks. <laughs> or even give up my space in the lunch queue. Or, wait, what? Sorry. Oh, yeah, it does say that twice. Okay. Yeah. Or even give yeah. up my space in the lunch queue so she could get the best choice of chicken breast. <laughs> uh, which gray hot dog do you want, I would, have, <laughs> I would have tried to look deep and thoughtful by frowning a lot and growing a fuzz mustache and scratching ironic cries for help into my desk. 
She would no doubt have spurned my somewhat creepy and stalker-like advances with just as much indifference as she would have spurned my chivalrous actions as she would have been, on the evidence of ease, far too <laughs> deep a thinker for my teenage brain, fascinated rather than amused by anatomy, and ironic and funny without having to pretend. She would have been my kind of gal because she was beautiful in a non-threatening way. Highly original in her she thought process. She did have spikes growing out of her face. <laughs> <laughs> Pincers had not like grown all in the yet. other bitches. <laughs> Creative, alternative, smart, and so cute you could almost commit the accidental crime of squeezing all the life out of her with overbearing affection. Had yeah, I, but uh, I mean, as long as it's almost, then that's just attempted murder, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm cool. Yeah, you are cool. I like you. Thank you. Had I been more interesting, original, and talented guy, I did not come across in the least bit creepy. Then perhaps, had we ever met, I must remember that this is pure fantasy, she might have let me be her boyfriend, and then a few years later when she recorded her masterpiece, Ease, I could have had the honor of performing the baritone male vocal accompaniment part on Only Skin, which, due to its tumbling and vibrant nature, is my personal highlight on this record, which is packed full of highlights, so packed, in fact, that there is no room for choruses or traditional song structures as we were used to on the milk-eyed mender. Instead, we are treated to unraveling music fairy tales, which possess an undercurrent of the nightmarish worlds of Lewis Carroll. <laughs> spelled weird, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. not how it's spelled. Yeah. Or the Brothers Grimm as the line <laughs> the, between the Grimm that the brother owns. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. It's not. <laughs> Hi, Hi there. I'm Grimm. <laughs> I'm Mitchell. My name's Graham. My name's Graham, and this is my brother's Graham. Sorry, my <laughs> brother brings his pet goblet around the parties. We can't give him this stuff. I'm just glad to be here. Get here, Grim. Uh, yeah, okay. as the line between adolescence and adulthood is heartbla- heartbreakingly blurred. Do you think this guy's trench coat is so big that it, like it has its own like kitchen <laughs> inside of it? <laughs> so it's a, a trench coat dinette set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low battery life in the chat says, my God, you can hear the deafening clang of vaginas clamping shut. (laughs) 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 However, had Joanna and I met and fallen in love, then it could not have been guaranteed that she would have ever recorded such a colossal record as this. According to Doc Emmett Brown, (laughs) Marty! Space time continuum <laughs> would have been disrupted, and I may have dragged <sighs> her down into my sad little life and not allowed her to follow the path of magic and wonder which she must have taken to invent the world in which the stories which com- compromise wise take place in. I find uh-huh. it hard to imagine Joanna sitting down and having a normal breakfast of cereal. Her music makes me presume that she runs through endless fields of corn, causing butterflies to flee ahead of her skipping body as she gathers cereal and wheat with which to make... You don't understand. <laughs> okay. With which to make bread through some magical process involving <laughs> a nice equivalent of a cauldron. Anyway, what I mean to say is I think the restraining order should be dropped against me because it's completely <laughs> unsubstantive. <laughs> I hate to think that at night she relaxes in front of the television. I assume by listening to her music that she is no doubt out after dark, her path lit by glowing fireflies, gathering moonbeams in a basket. She does not lie in bed and frolic with some hairy man who falls asleep after he has released his desire into her. She's a Madonna, (laughs) not a (laughs) hower. She stays up all night and tells stories to the animals who gather in hushed wonder in the collected moonlight she leaves outside her window. No. Oh, squirrels, birds, all my friends, let me tell you about the bullshit of this pretentious guy who won't shut the fuck up about me. (laughs) The tale begins on Rage My Music. Uh, no, had I ever met and seduced a young Joanna, it's oh, highly possible. Oh, 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 oh. What? <laughs> you don't like the album? <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey, Ozzy Styles. Hey, Ozzy Styles. Mm-hmm, yeah. Can you just define? Can you just define the word "seduced" for me, real quick? Um, sure. So I, I go. I <laughs> I find my uh, my my secret contact person who provides me with the chloroform. <laughs> Which, which, Ozzy Styles, which way would you say you go? Do you go other people's way? <laughs> or do you have your own way that you go? Um, well, okay, as a man, 
<laughs> oh, God. I know. Uh, uh, you just love my. Face- <laughs> Have they ever Face met symmetry in the chat goes, guys, my vulva just retracted like an anemone. <laughs> <laughs> I like That's somebody who said, uh, what was it, uh, QM Squirrel says, he is so white knighting he left the visible spectrum. <laughs> uh, no, had I ever met and seduced a young Joanna, it is highly possible that none of these images would seem even remotely possible. The normality would overpower the magic as it inevitably does. And the world would have lost a precious gem. And for not depriving the world of that, oh I should be thanked. <laughs> See, it's Thank really my album and my show. Joanna Newsom. <laughs> <laughs> really, I wrote Joanna Newsom's Easter. When you think about it, if you look at the whole history, I mean, it's really. <laughs> oh my God. I was bravely too creepy for her. <laughs> oh my God. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, so thanks, Mix. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go to jail. <laughs> that mix. That mix. Ozzy, whatever. No, I think this is a no. Showing this, this is a crime as well. All right, all right, all right. Um, oh, what's next for us, Boots? Lemon. Yeah. Take a quick glance at this and just let me know if you're willing to do this. As a review oh, for Capadonna's The Pillage. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's our one. It's our one. <laughs> okay. It's our one. <laughs> So, uh, my name is G-O-Z, right? Yeah, you all have heard of me. The G-O-Z? <laughs> yep. Okay, so, yes. uh, yep. warning. This may, this review, I'm not, I'm, gonna, I'm out of my chair now. I'm kneeling on the floor. Uh, <laughs> this following review may be too real for most of y'all bitches out there. Reader discretion is advised. So, here I is, back again to hit y'all bitch-ass bitches with another review. <laughs> y'all know I run this hip-hop <laughs> review shit. That's some real shit, kid. Over 200 of my shit... <laughs> has been favorited <laughs> and rhyme voted my reviews as the best of 2008 what y'all hoes know about that nothing not a motherfucking oh. thing that's why i got all these bitch made haters out there try me and uh, fuck the haters <laughs> <laughs> See okay. the haters thinking i don't because i do like my man's Mano, I I like high haters. Hi, Jay Selsby. You think Hi. you sick biting my stee? Try and be real, right? I'm the originator. Best to recognize that shit, little white boy. I got all D's rhyme hip hop fans mad because they ain't black like me because they frontin' like diction. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. What am I getting at here? <laughs> That's my question to you, mm-hmm. Peter. <laughs> Okay, so these so-called hip-hop fans on Rhyme don't recognize the realness of Capadonna, especially Rizel. I said how you was hating on the Capitalized Project. Obviously, the shit was too real for you. I mean, look at the cover for fuck's sake. Despite the recession, Cap is stunting his this words with wads of cash in his hands like, What, son? How real is that? Rizel is just Barry? hating on Kappa because he's richer than him. Now, I bet... Kappa. I bet some <laughs> of you fucking bitches are thanking Dur Dur. <laughs> That's what you're thanking. How do you know? These <laughs> Junji Ito fans out there. <laughs> dur, 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 dur. Uh, G-O-Z disses Capadonna all the time. Isn't he contradicting himself? No, I'm not, because I'm realer than you, so I can do what I want. Shit. Bitch. <laughs> There's nothing in the rules that say that's not true. <laughs> 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 Section 2.2.4, bitch. <laughs> uh, so anyway, me and my man's capo was cruising in the cab, sniffing the purest fish scale from my man's... Hmm. Maybe that word is El Ringo Colombiano. <laughs> El Ringo uh, Colombiano. El have, Ringo Colombiano. I have no idea what that's actually referring to, but I'm assuming it's weed. Yeah, uh, that ain't real because he doesn't like Red Man, but Coke is the bomb. But y'all wouldn't know that because y'all ain't real. So anyway, me and Kappa was cruising in his cab, and he's like, yo, G-O-Z, check out this shit. I recorded in the slums uh, Shaolin. It's called The Pillage. Uh, and then, okay, so uh, some tracks, right? I'm not going to tell you all no, the tracks. Uh, please please read the review for Splish Splash. Yeah, okay, so, uh, <laughs> so Splish Splash... We was taking a... Where the fuck is... Okay, there we go. Hey, Split Splash, I was taking a bath. I oh, love this one. baths. <laughs> I bet fruit boys, like you, prefer showers. Ha 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 ha, fucking herb. What does Kappa say about you? Eyeballing all of my dick like a Gina. 
I can, uh, yeah. now, now, please read the review for Pump Your Fists on the next page. Yeah, Pump Your Fist. That's a good one. Pump Your Fist's a real good one. Pump Your Fist, you fucking bitches! The fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> if lines like Pakistan, Iran clan is like Christ does get your fist pumping, you ain't real. Well, you ain't real anyway, but still. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll bad. never be real. <laughs> oh, hey, do you want to hear about the song called Pillage? Sure, yeah. Great. This shit starts with killing and raping. How oh, real no. is that? Oh, that's too real. No. That's real. Oh, man. I don't want to be real anymore. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm gone. I'm going back to my chair now. <laughs> Creative writing assignment's gone for your here. Out of uh, hand. Okay, and then, uh, then wrapping up this doc, we've got a section titled wrapping. Reviews by The Real Iron Man. Um, who Ooh. does all of his reviews uh, in all caps. Yay! Excellent, excellent. excellent. Uh, so let's go uh, uh, French Toast, Jimmy Franks, Portex, oh, oh. Uh, Frank West. And then see, if, yes. see where we are from there. <laughs> so we'll just go in order, uh, starting with uh, Metallica, Master of Puppets. Okay. French Toast. <clears throat> Metallica, Master of Puppets. I guess some people just can't handle the rock. Ha! Ah! But, honestly, Metallica made their rock. I would never call such layered, intricate music metal like I made my smoothies nutty and rich. Ha! All jokes aside, this is one monster of rock that packs the riffs like it's never going to come back in town. Although, and justice for all the solid follow-up, I totally dig the slow and steady opening of Battery and Rock Hard Riffs of Master Puppets. I can understand non-rockers not digging this album, but any solid rockers like myself, ha! Cannot deny the unstoppable rage. This classic. <laughs> Stoned, drunk, or sober. This is Metallica at their height. Try my pineapple ginger smoothies. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Safari. I don't want to be 100% here like my natural fruit smoothies, <laughs> but this might be my second favorite piece of music, or even our... I like playing this as romantic music for those heated moments with my sugar baby Rachel, but as soon began to listen to this outside of the bedroom. Too much info? <laughs> it's so damn good. I know, a, I know a real muscle man like myself shouldn't be listening to such soft boy music, but hey, I listen to Metallica too. I don't play this in my shop. The real Iron Man smoothies. I came up with that before the damn movie people, so you know. But on the ride home and in my hot tub by myself or with the sugar baby, this is the best. Just great French relaxation music. I'm not an expert, but this is classic. At least don't cold blue eyes. Come by my shop and get a discount on the only go G berry smoothie in the state. Real expensive, but really shit. Do I need a discount code? One hundred percent, baby. You bet. <laughs> that was that was introvert kumquat. That was yeah. before you. That's gorilla marketing. You're just stuck it in there at the end. <laughs> smoothies, smoothie zoom is not a blender, but it will help you make your own <laughs> smoothies. Anyways, who's uh, next? Uh, Portex. Want to read All right. the review for the Beatles Abbey Road? <laughs> the Beatles, no, yeah. No. I've heard of that album. <laughs> I'm glad that the Abbey Road is celebrated here as much as it is my house. <laughs> Rachel, back in 2005, I was worried that I have some difficulties in emergency collection and the ride to school. We both go to the same university or at home. Been living together for three years. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! But we instantly knocked it off with Abbey Road. Some people say that it's the hardest Beatles album to get into. While I respect that where they come from, I don't see how a solid rock like Come Together or the slow riffs of something or anything to sneeze at. As I agree that the second half goes by too quickly to grasp. <laughs> you give it time and you'll be going back just like my 100% natural fruit smoothies. <laughs> Try my mango razzy smoothies. Oh my god. Mango mixed with only the best workout supplements, such as Splash, a federally approved workout powder, XHX100D, what? whatever. I don't want to mix business and pleasure on this site, <laughs> but let me tell you a story about Uncle Larry. He's not a cable guy. <laughs> he once didn't work out or even run for six years, and this guy is once a real champion. He could squat 360 at the gym, and you could find him working overtime every day on the docks of Baltimore. That's where I'm from, folks! and made him this serious elixir long before I opened my store, and he came back to life five months ago. This guy's been working overtime at the gym, and I thought that he hadn't lift a finger outside TV room back home. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to brag about my 100% natural fruits no, you smoothies, sure don't. but I felt it related to my feelings towards this brilliant piece of music. <laughs> Give it to the children, folks. They need to hear these songs. Love ya, R. Rachel. <laughs> Couldn't help it. She probably won't even read this junk. <laughs> <laughs> Abbey Road, the album Abbey Road is a lot like fruit smoothies now that mm -hmm. I think of it. 
most things appear to be. <laughs> I mean, you're being sarcastic, but you've never tasted this dude's smoothies. They could be a lot like Abbey Road. <laughs> Come well, together, think... goji berry. <laughs> I mean, he does yeah. make a good point. When I'm listening to the second half of Abbey Road, I'm like, man, this is going too fast. I can't get, you know, this is too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Frank Russ, could you read us the review for This Mortal Coil, uh, Filigree and Shadow? Uh, I'd love to. I don't want to badmouth anybody's music, just like I don't want anyone to badmouth my smoothies like that would ever happen, hey, but I have some serious personal beef oh. with this album. That perhaps my only seriously low ranking on this awesome site. I'm still new, folks, so say hello, please. When my Uncle Larry passed away this last fall, my brother... Oh my god, is that a real name? Ar Archerius? Is this from ancient Rome? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, the, the names from antiquity are Curious and Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably be just as big of a fuck up if I'd been given that name. Felt that we should play some song by a band by this mortal coil. Mm. I thought it was bullshit because I never heard of them. And my uncle Larry definitely never heard of them. All he ever listened to was Willie Nelson and all that country stuff, which is okay, but not really for a real muscle man like myself. <laughs> 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 anyway, I put my trust that this would be a good song to send off. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, I put my trust that this would be a good song to send off my uncle into that abyss of the afterlife. I Not put him on a boat and then set it on fire. <laughs> wow. Not sure about heaven or hell yet, but that's for a different time and probably a different site. Heh. <laughs> probably. <laughs> This, however, is the correct use of this site. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, my brother is a real weirdo. I try to be nice to him and give him some discounts and buy 100% real fruit smoothies, but goddamn if this guy isn't a loser. He's 10 years older than me and wears these goth get-ups. Last Thanksgiving, I invited him over to my sugar baby, Rachel's parents' place for dinner, and he shows up in this mock preacher outfit and all hell broke loose like a rat out of toilet. <laughs> what? You know, like right out of time. <laughs> Fucking nitwit. Anyway, this song comes on and it sounds nice enough, but then this spooky goth chick starts singing about all sorts of boring, sappy, sad stuff, and then everyone broke out in tears. <laughs> and then everyone at the GameStop started sobbing. <laughs> I know it's a funeral, but the point is to- Oh wait, I thought we were at the dinner. Fuck it, okay. <laughs> it was the same thing, actually. Well, you had to take a detour and it not always right. It was, it was a drive-through <laughs> funeral. It was a dinner theater parlor. funeral. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me break out in tears. Uh, I know it's a funeral, but the point is to keep everyone happy, not sad. I mean, what the fuck was my nitwit brother thinking? Anyway, I blame him, but I was thinking about it, and I was thinking, if this was a real kick-ass song, then I wouldn't be so pissed at him. If it was up to, <laughs> if it was up to me, I'd pick Unforgiven or Unforgiven 2. If you don't know those songs, then holy hell, you need some history taught to you. Anyway, I just wanted to explain why I didn't like this music. <laughs> That's cool if others like it, but stay the hell away from me! Hey. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, getting whiplash. Hi. <laughs> in fact, you should come up. In fact, you should come up to my the real Iron Man smoothie shop and get your lips on a straw, leading to my new delicious Iron Man workout superpower. <laughs> I could tell you what's in it, but then I'd have to kill you. Just kidding. I'll probably kill you anyway. Uh, oh no! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Scared. Hey, whoa, 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 don't slow, slow down, don't call the cops, hee hee. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> anyway, it's got some berries, cacoa, <laughs> and uses coconut oil for a base. Uh, there's some crushed secret powder in it, but you don't want to give away what makes a thing good, right? Competition, folks! That's what this album needed. Rip Uncle Larry, 1941 to 2006. <laughs> I feel like you're losing a little bit of enthusiasm into your I, ad breaks. I really <laughs> hope that that was actually his eulogy at the funeral. He <laughs> <laughs> just gets up and it's like, this isn't even your uncle's funeral. Why are you... <laughs> 
And it seemed to me that you lived your life like a goji berry in a smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, F plus, what do you, you think know, we learned this hour? Hey, you know what I learned? What'd you learn? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I should point out to the chat so you don't get too worked up. The, I... we've, we've set. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know why they make song. Uh, the way they make albums that aren't uh, Hanson. <laughs> <laughs> we get. Uh, there is one bot for every hour, but we have it set on a button for maximum interrupting people purposes. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. so it's not going to play immediately as you do the donation because. Uh, it's more fun because we want to make it as hard as possible to entertain you. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like like for for those of you listening, uh, the F plus just in general, uh, we make things harder on each other. <laughs> so, Do we so you know, if Jimmy Franks is in a real good rhythm, I know how to stop that shit dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I learned. <laughs> I learned that maybe I shouldn't be doing the voice destroying voice, the throat destroying voices on hour one. Mm. Maybe I should pace myself. Yeah, oh. That's a that's a lesson we'll never learn. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. Uh, I'm I'm really into the John Lemon smoothie. Uh, we didn't mention anything about the stream, but uh, Chad's doing fantastic over there. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. If you're not if if you're not paying attention to the Twitch stream, start that. You'll have to best, draw people mad at music. This is the best Twitch stream you'll ever find. Yeah, this is the only Twitch stream you'll see where the Twitch chats are funnier than the stream. <laughs> For now. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna be back in about five or ten more minutes. We're just gonna take yep. a quick break. Uh, uh, It'll be the exact same cast as before, except Lemon will be hosting, and we'll see you soon. Coming up next. Stay tuned. <laughs>